I'm not a big fan of the drawing boards sold in the art store, though I have friends that own art stores. I'm sorry to tell them that. My biggest thing is uh, a few things. Particle board, which most of the boards in the art store are made of, excrete formaldehyde, which is poisonous. So MDF, medium density fiber board, is a lighter color, but it's not that dark brown. And what happens with the MDF is I can cut it to the size I want. So if I have these custom rag papers that are 22 by 30, I can go to any box store, Home Depot or Lowe's and have an MDF cut. I like it in the quarter inch thickness because when I put it against the table, I don't want it wobbling. I have my paintings against it. I have small paintings against it. I have three or four drawings. I probably have about 10 of these. Now to take it a step farther, a lot of people who do have formaldehyde problems, Zinzer sells a product called Zinzer 123 Shellac, and you can put three coats of shellac on the back and on the front, and that will keep it from excreting any of these chemicals. But the MDF puts out less than the particle board, so you just wanna do everything on MDF. Later on, we talk about painting and gluing to painting. MDF is your answer, okay? It's really quite simple. The reason I do not like the boards sold at the store is the clips are too aggressive and they carve into my rag paper. So I need something that I can choose which clip to use. And I usually use the medium to small size office clips. And those clips are, you know, very gentle on my paper. It's pretty simple. It's, it's just protecting my paper from being ruined. And the, the handled boards are too aggressive. You're having to fold paper in between them and, and it's just a nightmare. Save yourself 30 bucks, buy an $8 piece of MDF board. I usually cut it into four or five boards and I'm done. With these drawing boards, there are favorite clips that I have. Um, the larger clips I think are too aggressive and they ruin your paper. The size that I prefer is this size and I believe it's their small. Now they have an extra small that's even smaller than that, but because my board is quarter inch thick, I can't have the clip too small. So this is my favorite clip. Uh, the bigger clips I keep in the studio because the class keeps taking my little clips. So I buy the wrong size on purpose. They still take them. Um, so where do you buy these products? Lowe's and Home Depot will cut these for you. Uh, I know Home Depot does. I don't know if Lowe's does the cutting, but you can buy the, clip, the, the board itself. So think of it this way. If you buy the 24 by 48 sheet, you could have it cut into three 24 by 16, 16, 32, 48. And for the price of one board, you it's less than you buying an art store drawing board. It's far superior, it's thicker, and when you use the right size clip, it's not ruining your paper. I typically use three clips, two on the top and one on the side, and that keeps my artwork from moving around, which brings up a whole different blog and a whole different talk. I don't leave my drawing in the pad and I never close the cover over it to smear it. So everything's on its own board and I leave it there. And then, so I might have two or three projects at once going on and therefore they have to have a place where they're safe. If you're interested in any of these products, you can go to our show notes below. And if you want to know how we use these drawing boards with the drawing papers and the, and the different techniques of how we use it and, and, and join our program and see what we do, go to artsecretstudio.com.